Hi guys, this is Fabiana from creativeswimwear.com and today we'll be making this bikini. It's a really really nice design, I really like the sides of it. It has a bit more full coverage, different than the other ones we made before. They were more Brazilian coverage. I really like Brazilian coverage because I'm Brazilian, so I've been using Brazilian coverage forever, but for people that like more full coverage, this is the bikini. And so, this this pattern, the name of this pattern on my, uh, on my pattern shop is Pandawa. Pandawa is a beach in Bali that I used to love when I was living there. And so this is the Pandawa bottom. I'll be teaching the top soon in a few videos. And um, so the material needed for this bikini is this yarn here. This is the Cascade Fixation yarn fixation in my opinion i've been using fixation yarn because fixation is to be fixation it's made by um it's made in brazil by, by a brazilian company and it has three percent of uh, elastic already in the on the yarn mixed so, for me, this is one of the best yarns for swimwear. It dries fast, it's a light yarn, it's not as thin as for ply, but um, it's just a little bit thicker than a for ply yarn, so it dries fast as well, because it's not too thick, and is, it is, gives you, give your uh, bikini pieces that little bit of elasticity that makes big difference and so I'll be using for each for each piece 50 grams so if you are making a large I'll tell you to buy two rows each row is 50 grams and for a small and a medium one row it's enough, but for a large I would buy two just to make sure. And if you're making the full full set, just buy three of them. Three is more than enough. And um, so to work with this yarn, I'm using a um, two point one millimeters hook. That's my hook. If you want to, and that's all you need. So if you want to put a uh, lining inside which it doesn't really need on a darker color if you want to use lining so you're gonna need needle thread thread same color as the color of your yarn and polyamide lining or lycra each of them is as good as each other so either lycra or polyamide lining is fine and so subscribe to my channel it will be helping me a lot to make more of these bikinis every week and like my video because this that helps a lot on the youtube search and let's let's start it so to start making this bikini bottom we are going to start with the our slip knot i make it just like this Flip here, grab here, and make a, like if you're making a chain, very simple. Pull it, and make 18, 18 chains from here, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 18 chains. And now yarn over and we are going to make one double crochet in the fourth 
chain from the hook in this first row and then double crochet across double crochet one double crochet in each chain all the way to the other side I'm making a small if you're making a medium uh, you should make now you should start with 24 chains 22 chains okay if you're making a large 26 chains okay and the rest we're gonna sort of make the same thing so all it's gonna happen is you're gonna have more double crochets because you need to make a bigger bikini bottom so I have now 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 14, 16 double crochets here I always count the 2 chains from the beginning okay and I'm gonna make 2 chains and turn my work and I'm gonna be increasing two stitches in every row so I'm going to make another double crochet in this, fir in this first double crochet here and one double crochet in each double crochet all the way to the end but just before the last double crochet I'm going to make two again in the same double crochet I want to always increase in bikinis increase both side, on both sides the same okay so if you're increasing two here increasing two here I'm going to increase one here and one on the other side so both sides are even So here, just on this one, the one before, the two chains, it's easier to increase here than on the last one, so I'm making two double crochets in the same double crochet here, and another one in this last chain, okay, and then my two chains to turn, and increase again. So, increase on the first one and double crochet across until that, that double crochet just before the last, just before my chains here I'm going to increase again, okay? So you're gonna make seven rows increasing on the beginning and at the end. I made my seven rows so two four six seven rows increasing two stitches in every row and now i have 28 double crochets here um, and from now i'm gonna start decreasing because i'm making a shape like this like this and so I started on the front and I'm going to make one entire piece all the way to the back for this bottom, okay? So now we're going to make two chains to turn the work. And here, instead of increasing one, I'm going to be skipping one on the beginning. And I'm going to make my second double crochet my first double crochet right there. I always count the two chains as double crochets. So I'm going to double crochet across all the way to the other side and on the other side I'm going to skip one as well. So I'm going to skip, uh, I'm going to decrease stitches until I get to 10 double crochets 
counting with my two chains from the beginning, okay? So skip one on the beginning and skip one at the end and do that until you have 10 rows, 10 double crochets, okay? And then when you have 10 double crochets, we're gonna make a few rows of only 10 double crochets, which is gonna be right in the middle of the legs. Okay, so here I have these two double crochets here, so I'm going to make one here. And here where I have two from before, I'm making only one. So just one double crochet in that double crochet there. And so I'm starting to decrease stitches now. So I'm going to make here, you're gonna repeat the same row until you have only 10 double crochets left. Okay, you do it there and now be making here. And when you're ready, you start the video again. So I have now 10 double crochets, counting with these two chains, and 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 6, 14, 16 rows total. Okay. From now, I'm going to make um, 10 double crochet rows <coughs> until I have 28 rows. For a small and um, for a medium 30 rows for a large 32 because I need uh, the bikini to be a bit longer so make um, 10 double crochets rows until you have 30 row uh, 28 rows total okay so count you have now my 28 rows and I have now 22 centimeters or almost 9 inches. Okay, and from now I'm going to start making this again. So we will we, be increasing for the back, that's gonna be the back part of our bottom will be increasing so two chains and then turn your work we will be increasing like we did before one here in the beginning and double crochet across and then another one at the end So here, just before the last one, we make two double crochets in that same double crochet there. And so we will be increasing the stitches until we have 43 rows total. You count all the way from here to the end. And you can increase until you have 43 rows for a small, 45 for a medium, and 47 for a large. Okay, so two more every increase, two more rows to every every size. Okay, so yeah, you can stop the you can stop the video here. And I'm going to make all the way until I have 43 rows. I'm going to make my 43 rows increasing one stitch every side in each row. So I made here my 43 rows. And um, now I'm going to start decreasing to repeat the same 
the same shape from the front part so I'm going to be decreasing two stitches in every row just for five rows so I should finish this bottom part here with 50 rows for for a small 52 for medium and 54 for a large so and I have 40 double crochets here yeah so two chains and turn your work and then skip one here and make your first double crochet in the third double crochet from before so you're gonna be decreasing one stitch one stitch every side so two stitches every row one here and one here decreasing for seven rows I need to make seven because here I had seven and we need the same height here for to make the side of this bottom and so I'm going to decrease one stitch each side for seven rows now and the weight decreases the same way we did before in this last two stitches here we're gonna make only one so yes seven more rows and then we finish the main part of this bikini and then we're gonna start working on the sides I'm going to show you how to also add the elastic at the end as you can see here I have sort of a good coverage on this bikini. I would say this is uh, not a full but a moderate coverage. If you want more coverage, you just increase more stitches. If you want less coverage, what I do is I normally increase two stitches every second row, not in every row, okay? So this changes the coverage of a bikini. So if you add if you add extra stitches for more coverage on the sides, you're gonna need less stitches. And if you uh, make a smaller coverage, like a Brazilian or a G-string, you you need longer here on the sides. Okay, just to you know. I normally, if I have sixty stitches for the side, and I have um, a smaller coverage I'm gonna make like 70 you know what I mean so you need to um, make that balance work for you on uh, the final piece so I finished my 50 rows here and um, the sound the piece looks like now okay and from here I'm going to work start working on the sides I'm going to make one row around the entire piece and so I'm making two chains to the side here and then one double crochet in the middle of this row here and then one more chain I'm going to skip one here, make another one here, and another one here. So every row it's gonna count like two, two stitches, two double crochets. So making always two double crochets in one chain and skipping one. So here I skip one 
because every row counts as two and I'm going to make right in the middle here the next double crochet and another double crochet in the middle here and one chain skip this one here go to the next row there one two one chain skip one one, two, one chain, skip one, and right here on this one, on this row here, two, four, six, two, four, six, seven, and on this row here is the biggest row I have. I'm going to make two double crochets in the same place there. Just to make my corner here to start going down. Then skip on there and, and repeat the same thing you were doing before. So skip one here, one in the middle. And one in, in between the two rows. So, yeah, just repeat all around your piece until you get here. And then you can finish this side. And we're gonna make... Um, start working that lacing part on the side and then after that we make the other side so keep repeating that all the way until you get to the other side right here okay so i finished here and i cut my yarn off and now i'm going to start working this part here that goes to the side okay so I'm going to start flip it on the back and on the right side okay and um, so I'm going to count seven rows here two four six seven okay and at the end see it here in the middle of the seventh row it's on this stitch right here so I'm going to start right here to work on the sides now so make that first stitch with both sides of your yarn then lift the tail like that and then make 60 chains to the other side I made 60 chains here okay and now and now um, I'm going to join here with a um, slip knot so count two four six seven okay at the end of the seventh row so here right here in this stitch here I'm going to join with a slip stitch and then I'm going to make single crochet here one single crochet here and then I'm going to make 10 chains from here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10 and turn my work make sure when you join this first row is not twisted okay 
And then here I have to count 12 stitches. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. On the 12 chain I'm going to start working um, double crochets. So one double crochet all in the same chain, okay? Two double crochets and then one chain and two more double crochets in that same chain from before. They're all in the same chain, okay? And then from here ten more ten more chains. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then again count to a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then two double crochets, one chain and another two double crochets. So that's how it will look like. And keep making the same thing. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Count twelve here. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So keep repeating the same thing uh, until you get to the to the other side. And then we're gonna turn and make the exact same row for five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then count twelve, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. And at the end here, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you're gonna be joining right here. And then you're gonna be joining here. Uh, skip one, skip two. Okay, one, two, and here on this one I'm going to make a slip stitch. And then I'm gonna go up two more, one, two, one more, three, and then I'm going to repeat the same thing, I'm gonna make ten chains and I'm going to turn my work to the other side and then here where I had my chain from before this chain right in the middle that's where I'm going to make my two double crochets with a chain and two more double crochets so the, they'll be always right on top of 
each other so that makes it easier to make the next few rows okay you should have six of them at the end so ten and then two double crochets one chain and another two double crochets so repeat that all the way to the other side here and then here make a slip knot with a space of two so one two a slip knot here on the third one and then one two more and ten more double crochets to the other side so always make sure the space here is the same height of similar height to your the, the height of your row itself otherwise it's gonna look weird see it has to be the same height of the um, height of the row here okay same space so because i want to have six rows so i have two now and so the third one has to be right in the middle here okay so I'm going to skip only one here for now and I'm going to make my slip knot on the second one which is gonna be fine and then another single crochet here and one more here and then I'm going to make my 10 chains and turn to the other side to make the third row same thing two double crochets one chain and two more double crochets and so they repeat that all the way to the other side again so my last row here I'm, I made this this one from before um, joined here and went all the way up until the last row here and that's where I'm going to start my last row because I want this last row to stay right on top so it's aligned with the end of this bikini so from here I'm going to make 10 chains And then again my, my normal stitches all the way to the end and at the end there I'm going to I'm going to join that row that um, last uh, chain at the very end here because I want it all aligned for when I put the um, when I make the last row with the um, elastic, I want this, all these, you know, aligned and on the same, see like here, it's aligned with the last row and so just join here the, your last stitch with this last stitch from here. So I finished here in this last double crochet there join with the slip, slip stitch like before okay make sure everything is okay here and so I have one of the sides here really nice work isn't it for a bikini 
And so it's already a bit stretchy because we are using fixation yarn. But we still are going to add elastic uh, on the waist and also here on the legs just to make sure that bikini won't fall off your body when you swimming or the pool okay so i'll be making the other side the other side is just a copy of this side here and then at the end i'm going to show you how to add the elastic on the legs and here so i cut my elastic smaller than the full size of the waist because you want it we wanted the bikini to hold on your body so it needs to be smaller okay so and then I I stitched both ends together okay make sure it's not twisted or anything and then now I'm going to cover this elastic with a single crochet uh, roll. So I finished here with um, slip stitch at the end, okay, and now face, facing the right side of my bikini, I'm going to put that elastic right behind my work and hold with these fingers, okay, and I'm going to start making single crochets on top of covering that elastic okay make sure uh, the ends are on the back will be on the back of my bikini i don't want them in the front okay so i'm gonna start making one single crochet in every chain from before So one single crochet in every stitch you had before. The same thing here where you had your double crochets. I'm gonna make one single crochet in each one of them. And also make sure only on the sides I'm going to pull this elastic to start making it elasticized on the waist so every like 20 stitches or something you just pull the elastic a bit because the elastic is smaller than the full size of your waist so the bikini will hold perfectly on your body Okay, so I'm going to repeat single crochets all the way around. All the way around until I'm back here. Make sure you cover on this little end here and finish with a slip stitch right on the first single crochet from before, okay? So I'm back here to where I started. And now I'm going to make a slip knot, a slip stitch in that first single crochet. And finish here. Okay. As you can see, it is stretchy here. So I finished here with a single crochet and now I'm going to get my other elastic that I already stitched there. So make a few little stitches with your needle and thread here and as you can see here that's how I measure it, put on the side of the leg okay and then same thing like two inches smaller 
as well. So I'm going I'm going to start the leg right here in the middle so it doesn't show because it doesn't show when it's finished uh, all the knots are gonna be in between your legs okay so start here like this and then straight away you're gonna put your elastic underneath so these edges have to be just before, okay? Like this. So my first stitch is here. This is just before. So I want to finish right at the end, okay? Always make sure you don't twist uh, the elastic while you are making your single crochets around. So I'm going to single crochet covering that tail and the elastic at the same time with single crochet exactly like I did before. Make sure it's tied and close to them. So that's how I do it. Put the hook through and then underneath the elastic yarn over here and single crochet so that's how it looks like so it covers the elastic on the front and on the back as well Cover this tail enough, and now I can put it on the back there, or cut it off if you don't like it there. I'll cut it off after, okay? So one single crochet to every in every stitch from the row before here. And then at the end finish like you did before with a um, slip stitch on the very beginning here. And also always you're gonna put the elastic sometimes a little bit here but mainly on this part here because the sides of the bikini are the parts that are gonna hold on the body and this doesn't really need to be that tight you know otherwise it's, it gets uncomfortable to wear so you're gonna be pulling this elastic only when you get here on the sides okay and then you pull it uh, make around 20 stitches and pull it 20 more and pull it again okay so I'll be back with both parts made and so you make yours there and then I'll show you the final result in a second. So I finished all the put elastic all around in all the sides of the leg and the waist. And so it's very stretchy now, mainly because I'm using that fixation yarn. And I think that's the best yarn for this bikini. There is another yarn as well that's called bikini, but you can only get that yarn in, um, in Turkey, I think. It's a bit hard to get it so now I'm going to finish all these little ends here and the way I do it so I put through one of the the stitches here pull it and I make another knot here on the back 
and then I put it underneath a few more stitches and just cut it off. This one I already did it. This one's already done. This one's just cut. And see this one as well. So now just cut the ends and then your bikini is ready. This one did it's really close together the stitches. If you don't want to put um, lining, you don't need to. But some people like mainly when the colors are like um, more light because the hair sometimes come comes through the stitches, and that's the only reason why. If you want to put lining, uh, the um, Best lining is lycra or polyamide lining. It's the same material uh, you use to make normal bikinis. And I figure out with the time that that's the best type of uh, material you can use because it stretches with the bikini. And so, yeah. Cotton and other materials, they're not as good as as this one, as uh, polyamide or lycra. So these are the ones I, I would use. So this is our design for the day. If you liked my this video and this design, subscribe to my channel, put a like there on, and a comment. And thank you for watching. I'll see you next week with another one. Bye.